What's up guys? It's uh, Connor. I'm back. This is Y Golf TV. Okay, we finished the first segment on Y Golf Contact, which is basically helping most golfers get from the point where they couldn't hit a ball at all. Now they have a basic uh, semblance of a swing pattern that's allowing them to get it up in the air. All right. So now the ball goes up in the air. Okay, and it's going all over the place. So what are you going to do about it? The first thing you need to understand is why is the ball going all over the place? If it's if it's hooking, why is it hooking? If it's slicing, why is it slicing? And then once you understand the concept and why it's happening, what, what, why the ball is moving the way it is, any changes you make to your swing make sense to you. Okay? If the ball is continuing to slice off to the right and you make some changes and the ball continues to slice off to the right, in your mind it doesn't make sense. Well, then this doesn't work. So here's the first thing you need to understand about ball control. Okay? Whatever, wherever the club face is pointed when you hit the ball, and this thing's moving so fast, it's hard to actually sense. Okay, but when you look up, if the ball is initially starting to the left of your target, when you hit the ball, the club face is pointed to the left. If the ball is started to the right, when you hit the ball, the club face is pointed to the right. All this thing does, okay, you spend all this money, and all this thing does is get the ball to start initially somewhere. So the ball can either go straight, right at you guys, it can either shoot off to the left, off the club face, or it can shoot off to the right. Okay? And then the, the swing, your, the shape of your swing, your swing path, is making the ball spin, okay, on an angle, tilted angle, is either spinning to the left or spinning to the right. Okay? So you need to understand that because if your ball always starts straight and then spins off to the right, you need to know that the club face is pointing this way. Okay? And you need to have an idea of a shape of shot you're trying to learn how to hit. Okay? It's, rid it's ridiculous in golf to try and hit the ball really straight. It's actually not to your benefit. Most of the best players in the world, they have some ability to curve the ball either left to right in a predictable manner or fashion or right to left. So you need to pick a shot that you want to learn how to hit, whether it be a draw or a fade, and practice learning how to do that uh, accurately and predictably. So you have a go-to shot for when you get nervous on the golf course. Once you know how to curve the ball one way, then you can learn to curve the ball the other way and practice doing that a whole bunch. 